Smart lighting is the best. You can do so much with it from getting creative to setting a mood, but sometimes the promise of a smart light is more than the brand or you or I can deliver. Govi recently released an upgraded version of its indoor rope light called the Govi Neon Rope Light 2. I'm Erin from Tech Gadgets Canada and Tech Gadgets International, and in this review, I'll try it out here in my home to see what it's like to use and to install, how bright and colorful it is, and what's been upgraded. I'll wrap things up with the pros and the cons and let you know if I think I can recommend this smart rope light for you. What are you getting? In short, this indoor lighting kit is a 16 foot or 4.8 meter long flexible silicone strip that you can place almost anywhere from around mirrors or headboards to under furniture. You can even create custom light designs on the wall. Well, at least that's the idea. Perhaps most importantly, there is no hub or bridge required for Wi-Fi connectivity and smartphone control. So what's new here? Govi has modified the design of this rope light to be a little brighter and rounder than the previous version, so you're getting a little light shining out not just from the top or the front of the light, but also through the sides. This version also appears to have a much more watercolor-like appearance, where the strip changes color more subtly instead of delineated segments that use pinpoints of light or tiny LED bulbs, you're definitely getting more of a softer ambient effect. Now what's in the box? In the package, you're getting the Neon Rope Light 2 with a plug. It has a silicone back and it's quite flexible. Included in my package were 24 clips in two sizes, a single clip and a bendable metal clip with two anchor points. You can install them with either the adhesive pads that are on the back or the included screws and drywall anchors. Extra clips can be ordered from Govi. Getting these lights set up was really fast, but the time I saved on the setup got made up for when I tried to install them. Plug them in and they will automatically be in pairing mode. Using the Govi app, you'll connect the light to your home's Wi-Fi for app and voice control. The app also lets you use timers and schedules, set preset scenes, change the color and make light patterns, and to use the music sync setting. While installing them onto a mirror or bookcase is pretty easy, I was looking forward to forming these lights into a cool design like I saw on the website and in the app. But as I found out in my first-hand experience, that's a lot easier said than actually done. Now, the idea is that you can create your own custom design or words or use the app to choose one of Govi's recommended designs. The app is going to give you some guidance on how to choose a design and it will tell you how many clips you need and where to place those clips along the light to help you form the design. Amazingly, the segments of the light will change color too to help guide you on where to bend and shape the light. A rule of thumb is the more complex the design, the more clips you're going to need. But as I quickly found out while trying to choose a design, even some of the simpler designs do need far more clips than are included. Now, despite the good instructions and the light helping you out, there is definitely going to be some artistic talent needed here. I don't mind admitting I really flubbed this installation a couple of times. I definitely understood what the design should look like and I had the color guided segments on the light, but I don't feel like it was really possible to create any of the suggested designs with either the number of clips or the length of light that I have. Now I opted to get the longer version. There's 16.4 feet of light here, yet I quickly realized there was no way I was going to be able to create some of the designs I saw or the insect design that I actually chose, let alone any of the more complex or involved designs. I decided to abandon the butterfly or the bee I was trying to make in favor of something that I thought maybe looked a bit like a flower or a cactus. I actually think Govi could do well by sharing maybe downloadable, printable templates that you could stick up on the wall to help you figure out how to place or how to map out some of these designs. I also don't really understand how Govi is suggesting you can actually create some of these more elaborate lighting designs, unless maybe you can string several sets of lights together somehow. Now, while I have the longest available set, there is absolutely no way I'm able to create anything larger and more intricate, and Govi tells me that for now these lights actually do not connect to additional sets so that you could add some length. So I got my design up on the wall finally, but within a few hours the adhesive on the clips was already starting to pop off. By the next day I had lost several segments and the light was just hanging down in places. 
Now I suppose the remedy for this is to use the screws and the drywall anchors, but I would be absolutely terrified to do that unless there was some better way to guarantee what the finished design is actually gonna look like. Otherwise, you're just gonna be putting endless holes into your walls. If you want a more dynamic experience, the Govi Neon Ropelite 2 can sync to music, audio, the TV, or even your voice. Just switch on this easy to find setting in the Govi Home app. If you want to go hands-free, pair the lights with Google Home or Amazon Alexa. I connected mine to my Echo device in seconds and I was able to get the light to turn on and off as well as to change colors just by asking. Overall, I have to say I've become a huge Govi fan in the last couple of years, but I think this light kit needs some work to become another Govi superstar like my Hexa light panels or really any of my outdoor lights. Let's go over the pros and the cons so you can see where these might work for you and where you might want to wait for version 3. On the pro side, Govi lights are ultra easy to set up with no need for an extra bridge to operate. Plus, Govi has a wildly customizable app that lets you do everything you'd want with a smart light. The lights are quite bright and I love the blended color across the rope. It's easy to set daily on and off timers using the Govi app as well. When it comes to the downsides, I think first and foremost is that if you're hoping to create lighting designs on your wall, this would not be the ideal choice for a couple of reasons. First is that you're definitely going to need to order additional clips from the Govi website in order to pull off most of these designs. Second is that I don't believe it would actually be possible to create some of the more intricate designs even with the longest 16.4 foot length, particularly as the lights are simply not that bendy. While I tried mightily to create some cool designs, I was only able to succeed at the simplest version, and even barely at that. Now I think if you're going to keep it simple or you just want these for a more straightforward application, you're going to get a kick out of these lights. But if you are hoping to create something more elaborate, you might want to keep looking or to wait for Gobi to make some improvements. The 16-foot Govi Neon Rope Light 2 sells for about 99 US or 159 Canadian and ouch, yes, that exchange rate hurts. And you can find it from places like Best Buy, Amazon, and Govi's website. And if I've scared you away from this version, I've tried plenty of other Govi lights that I do very much recommend. You can check out a couple of those options right now.